old pirates, yes they rabbi, so lie to the merchant ships, minutes after they took her from the bottomless pit. Namaste. Namaste. My name is Vishwani Singh and I am the President and the Director of the Sanatan Hindu Mandir in the British Virgin Islands. My name is Jitan Ranat Singh and I am the Treasurer of this Mandir, also a Director of this Mandir. I am, I am Congo Zulu Isis of Virgin Island. My name is Art Christopher. I grew up here in the Virgin Islands, so I consider myself a Virgin Islander. My name is Colin Cousins and I'm the senior pastor at the New Testament Church of God International Worship Center. My name is Julie Schneider and I've been living here in the BBI since 1997 on and off. I'm a Christian. Semitic spirituality. I am Jewish. The term Christianity uh, comes from the fact that we are followers of Christ. So Christianity is centered around Christ, the Son of the living God. The fact that he came to offer salvation to mankind. So the scripture speaks to the fact that he came to save those that are lost. He came in the flesh, died, he was buried, and he was resurrected on the third day. And he is now ascended to heaven, uh, seated at the right hand of Christ. So Christianity is surrounding Jesus Christ, the cross, his blood, and the fact that he has redeemed mankind from their sins. Rastafari come out of the, the same Bible, the same um, King James Bible. It's just the way how we view things are different. I mean, we grew up viewing it normally like everyone else with all of the, the white washing, white this, white that. The normal preacher, teachers pick specific things to speak about. But now when you get to read the book for yourself, you get to see identity. You get to see it yourself. Comedic knowledge or comedic spirituality is, is really the attempt for us to unify or find the origins of African spirituality. So it is a, a part of African spirituality, traditional African spirituality and going back to its roots. So when we look at the root of the Akan culture, the Yoruba culture, we find that it all goes right back to Kemet. And so that is the root of what we, we consider to be a Kemetic or ancient Egypt in terms of its uh, culture and spirituality. Hinduism is more than a religion or religious practices. It is more a way of life. It is a complete philosophy on the foundation and the direction of one's life, of one's existence. It aims towards self-realization, self-transformation, freedom, and liberation. Judaism um, is a religion uh, that spans back all the way to the 6th century BCE. We believe in one God and we follow the Jewish law. A lot of what you do or what we did in my family was out of respect for the fact that um, we don't know what happened to our families that were still back in Europe. We can only go back to my great grandfather. Um, so I am third generation American Jewish. And if you go any further back, we don't know what happened. Um, so most likely, uh, based on where we think my family was from, they dug their own graves and then were shot in the head and um, killed by the Nazis. So out of respect for the fact that we don't know their story, we can only guess, uh, it gives you a different meaning as to what it is to be Jewish. One of the famous texts that people often refer to is what we call the the Egyptian Book of the Dead. We know that that is uh, incorrectly uh, labeled. Um, it is actually uh, 
properly named as the book of coming forth by day or the book of awakening and so there are things that we call the, the 42 confessions of Ma'at which is uh, throughout the text it it is really personalized it's, it's like your daily affirmations so when you awake in the morning when you go to bed at night there are a set of affirmations that you do in terms of your spirituality today I have not um, stolen today I have not oh, I have not and so forth the prayer for Hanukkah when you light the lights is Baruch Gata Adonai El Heinu Melech Halam Asher Kishanu B'Mitzvotah B'Tivanu Lahad Lekner Shel Hanukkah I'm a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth highly to that sea for them to smell and food in due season therefore I and I lack shall not wither and whatsoever I do in highly to that sea for us name shall prosper. The wicked are not so, but that I smoke, that is continually driven away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand in the judgment, the elaboration of the righteous. For I will so that you know the ways of the righteous, but the ways of the wicked shall not fire. We worship one God, but in different forms. Our scripture teaches us that everything that gives sustenance to life is governed by a celestial being. For example, wealth, education, water, air. So for example, if you're pursuing the path of education, we worship that divinity that governs over education, which is Saraswati Devi. But ultimately, the name of God that we worship is Krishna, or we often refer to him as Bhagavan. Bhagavan means God. The name of God is religious texts that we read um, are the, the Torah, and that is a, a scroll uh, that you unscroll, and it's parchment paper, and inside of the Torah there's five books, uh, Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Kermitic spirituality, to my knowledge, does not um, prohibit any food. But it acknowledges that a vegetarian diet is the most moral and ethical way to, uh, way to live. But as a Christian, uh, we eat everything. Um, you know, as a missionary, you know, if you go to the deep rural area of Ghana and you're given monkey grain to eat, you better eat it. So we eat everything. What we do first is that we bless and they eat. The soul doesn't limit us to only one body. Even the animals, all living beings carry a soul. And hence we must, all, we must live in unity and harmony with all living creatures. And for that reason, we do not consume animals because of karma. Because the karmic reaction for just say killing an animal, that, you know, comes back at us. So no. We believe in the plant based and we try to do everything from scratch. Plant based kind no of plants is living and where the enzymes and all the different chemicals in plants. We need them, the nutrients, the minerals, all of that. We need them, we benefit from them. So, foods that were prohibited from eating um, would be um, if you are kosher. Uh, there's lots of foods that you can't you can't mix dairy and milk together. I did not grow up kosher. Um, you also have to have all of your meat blessed by a rabbi, and it has to be slaughtered in a different way. Um, I did grow up eating kosher meat, um, but that was just because there was a kosher butcher next to door to my dad's store. Um, but for me, we didn't grow up. Um, we we didn't grow up really eating beef. I mean pork. Um, and we didn't eat a lot of lobster. That did change when I was older, um, and I do know that my great-grandfather, who was Orthodox, um, instead of calling lobster lobster, he called it redfish so that he could eat it.